yes. Oh, just jump down there. And it's fucking yeah, hole. neck deep in it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That's why you're going first. <laughs> <laughs> you clear the path. Thank you. <laughs> Hello YouTube. <laughs> right, I'm out again, Snowdonia. Apologies if you're getting sick of it, but I'm in the Rinox this time. My own personal Sherpa up there. Claire, by the way, if you haven't seen her channel, you've seen her channel. Anyway, we have just made our way up from the car park, which is just over that summit there. That little hill, it's not summit. And we're heading our way up to Rinox 4, which is where we plan to camp tonight. I've got a new tent, which I'm quite excited about. So we'll show you that in a minute. Crazy one up there is in a tarp and bivy. You might have just seen her previous video, which was also a tarp and bivy on a mountain. I think the conditions are a bit better today. I mean, it's a bit cloudy, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be any rain as yet. Possibly gonna be doing some wild swimming. Definitely gonna be doing some wild swimming. And yeah, a lot of hiking. That's it anyway, so Glider 4, not Glider, Rinog 4, I think is in the background there. So like I say, that's the summit for tonight. That's where we're gonna camp. That's the plan. Just had some noodles, so I'm a bit full. And now we're heading on up here to find a spot. See you soon. So we're nearly at the summit, which is just up here. So we've got some goose today as well. So we went past the waterfall to get the last bit of water. So we found a pond. <laughs> and now we're gonna head straight up there to the summit. Quite a nice day actually. It's quite nice hiking, it's a nice little breeze. And it's not too hot and it's not too cold. <laughs> is it? <I> know. <laughs> right, bring you back at the top, bring you back. We've got some scrambling to do now. I think we're only a couple of hundred meters from the summit, do you think? Was it there? She just found her last wild camp spot. Um, a few hundred meters from the summit now, but it's like proper vertical and up there. Look at these views, man. So I think Barmouth Bay is just around the corner there. And then, so the drone footage earlier was Glylin, which is that mitten shaped one there. And we just come round the back and up here our pond for filling water was there so now yeah a few hundred meters and we're at the summit you're gonna come there again <laughs> yeah see you pal There's the summit. We've made it. <laughs> it's pretty easy actually. It was easy, wasn't it? Yeah! <laughs> right, let's get up there, let's see what views we've got. Next Whoop. issue is finding somewhere to camp. It's a bit rocky. Bilberries! <laughs> Apparently. Unless we're gonna die in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they they won't feel over, I don't know. Bleeding. Uh oh. Injured already. Was it 
tastes like? Blueberries. Does it really? Mm, quite nice, actually. Oh, I'm going to try one. Let's get them. Where are they? Look. I won't tell you. What? <laughs> Okay, we'll set up. Now I've decided that Claire's showing me up today. <laughs> I'm wussing it in an actual tent. And she's roughing it, look. <laughs> Tarp and bivvy. She's showing me how it's done. Anyway, new tent. First outing for the Hilliburg Zulo. So we'll have a little look inside. I've had this up in the garden, but not on a hill before. So I'm proper impressed. It's going to be well cosy. I mean, it's not massive and the vestibule's pretty small, but this is my go-to for winter now. Because I'm not hardcore enough for tarps and bivvies in the winter, so I'm going to be hillyburging it. Anyway, look at our views for the morning. We're going to get sunrise, hopefully, just over there. And then tomorrow, we're going down the side of this FAC. Is it FAC? Four, oh. Rinog Four. And then down into those woodlands there, and there is a waterfall somewhere in the sparseness sprucey bits over there then i believe we are going so lindu just behind here we're gonna go swimming in there that'd be it it's not a bad spot is it quite excited now right i'm gonna get some food on so bloody starving bye oh look all the sheep they're coming for dinner sheep friends a bit of lamb <laughs> Uh, chili con carne. Oh yeah. Yep. Right. Four hundred mils. A lot of water for one of them, isn't it? Three. What? Three. <laughs> Whoa! All up, Nelly. So still, isn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous and it's a bit hazy now, but you can still see some miles yeah. away. Here's the setup then. So usual suspects apart from what new pillow look, decathlon. I don't know what it's called, but it's got a little area there where I can put some clothes just to raise it up because I think I struggle with the pillows because of the height of them, they're too low. And I've got a leg pillow as well, <laughs> got my Sea to Summit leg pillow. So I've got all my charging stuff over there. It's quite a bit bigger than the Hubber NX, so I never get the storage down that side in the Hubber. A couple of pockets over there and then under my coat, it's just a bag and my cooking gear. So I will have enough room to cook there. I'll show you Claire's setup in a minute. <laughs> so this is the cooking table. <laughs> just had dinner. It's so amazing. Look at the tarp tent, look. This is how proper campers do it. <laughs> this is how lunatics yeah. do it. <laughs> What's that? Just a Foil foam, foam mat. mat. Yeah. Firm arrest, lofty, and rubber scent, 900, Alp kit bivvy, and look at all the rooms she's got in there. There we go. Can't beat that for a camp, can we? Look at this. <laughs> Very excited. Right, it's got into beds. 
it's probably about half ten and we just had a wicked Milky Way. If I can get some pictures together, I'll um I'll put them on the screen now. Alright, gonna get some sleep and see you in the morning. Bye. Oh dear. Good mornings. Um slept shit both of us I think and it's about half six now and there's no sunrise it's just a white out so you're gonna sort of get ourselves together now and just sort of uh, have some breakfast and try and navigate our way down the mountain we'll just wing it down there <laughs> shall we roll All right in a bit Here's our white outlook. Look at that loon on the floor there with no, <laughs> no shelter. She took the pole out and she's bivvied it. It's proper hardcore. But yeah, we're heading down there today. Look how beautiful it is. And look at the sunshine. Look at the sunrise. You can actually make out the sun there. Can you see it? Somewhere there. There it is. That's the sun, not the moon. Right, let's get packed away. Okay, so we're just finishing packing up now, camp number one. That's my dry spot, with bag packed. That was Claire's, finishing packing now. So now, we're going up there, somewhere. So the summit is just up there and the path we can get on and walk all the way back up. So we're doubling back on ourselves and going to Lin Du for a swim. Going swimming? Oh no! It's just me today by the looks of it. <laughs> See you there. Ah, oh, nice. Staying for an hour. funny knock my teeth out again <laughs> we are on our way back now done what we wanted to do Rinog Fowl some waterfalls Lindu bit of wild swimming bit of eating <laughs> bit of cooking and a lot of hiking pretty knackered to be fair so that's it thank you for watching say bye Claire bye Claire <laughs> thanks guys catch up again soon bye yeah.